Hello everyone, I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Eric. It's time for the letters pages. This is our last segment for the Geekflution Omnibus this time. Thanks everybody for watching. We sure appreciate it. Uh, for just a few minutes, we're going to answer a few of your questions. It is stupid late now, so if we this are not... one of these runs in a while. In a long time. I'm sorry about that. No, if, no, 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 it's cool. If um, we are not totally coherent, it's because it's insanely late at night slash early in the morning. Uh, but uh, Eric's been a trooper. Thanks a bunch for hanging out with me, buddy. And uh, now... I almost said down the news. We did that already. Uh, now some questions. Eric, I like this one. Uh, Justin Osborne asks, Mutant Registration Act, yes or no? What a great question. It's got to be yes, right? They have guns in their eyes. I don't. They, they can walk into one of your houses or any... Or, <laughs> or any of your houses. Yeah, yeah, they could. Um... This is the beauty of the mutant metaphor, right? Is that it's it's an exaggerated thing that is worse than anything we hopefully will ever have to deal with. Any way you handle it is 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 wrong in in some way, whether 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 eth ethically or practically. Ethically, it's really hard not to feel like well, we're just we're, we're rounding people up because they're different from us. But, but it's, it's they have not weapons in that their body. simple. He's got right? knives like, in his hands. He shoots lasers from it. Like, like, how, like, like Kelly comes from a bigoted place at the beginning of X Men, but how wrong is just the sentiment of maybe if people have these extraordinary powers, especially if they can't control they them, them for good. We should know yeah. what they and even if your intentions are good, you might screw up or you might not be able to control yourself. Um, no, it's it's really hard to say. Like I would I would love to come up with like some kind of compromise. I don't know what exactly it would be. Like I don't like the implications of either thing, you know? Because <clears throat> how how do you not have like one extreme or the other? I don't know what the compromise is between having a between making everyone know that you're a mutant and invading your privacy in that way and not doing that. What is the midpoint between those two things? We just, um, we just, we just have to make a Sentinel program. That's all, we, that's all we have to do. I, I just, I got I've got this idea for like, well, what if we had dragon robots that, 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 that hunted down? But no, the, the, the beauty of the mutant idea is that that question is unanswerable. Mm -hmm. It's unanswerable. Uh... I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out, 5H, at Lewis1022, I'm not sure who this is. Hey, Cap and Eric, okay, what things from Star Trek does Eric like, and what things from Star Wars do does Cap like? So, the original Star Wars trilogy and Legacy, right? And maybe Thrawn. That, that's you? Are you answering the things yeah, for yeah, me? Yeah, I'm answering for you. Yes, and I also... I also really like the first couple arcs of uh, New Marvel Star Wars. Oh, I like yeah. the Vader series a lot. Um, I like the uh, Clone Wars cartoon that Tartakovsky did, and uh, That's just wonderful. And I uh, really loved Episode One when it came out. Sure. I mean, I like TNG. I like what I've seen of Deep Space Nine. You gotta get back to it. We gotta do more of that. Uh, I like the movies. The TOS movies. Some, some more the, than others. The good, the good ones. Yeah. I like TOS. Okay, it's a little boring. It, it doesn't have the magic that TNG has. I can show you not boring TOS. We watched some major episodes. And you still were bored. I mean, I mean, I mean the the what's the what's the what's the time travel one? What city? Yeah, cities. Okay. We, yeah, but you've read the better city, like. But I read it after. Yeah, no, I know. Um, and we watched the one with with, with Spock's dad. I was okay. Yeah. Love it. Mirror. mirror. No, no, no. Is that no, no, I'm just asking you, but you saw Mirror Mirror. Yeah, well, yeah we watched that together. Yeah. It's okay. I don't know, it just it doesn't have what I like about TNG, I That's guess. That's fair, sure. Um, Sometimes you can be wrong about things. It just That's doesn't cool. feel like a cohesive universe I mean, obviously, in the same I, way I, TNG I prefer, No, and it's it not. It feels like people are making things up on the fly, and, that, and that's not And that is what's going on. It's a whole bunch of different writers. Like, you gotta yeah. take it for what it is. No, I, I understand that. I'm just saying this resonate with me like, like TNG does. I'm not gonna sit down and watch it on my own like I will with, with TNG. Uh, and Mika Vasaharja, name one thing that MCU X Men movies, name one thing that MCU X Men movie movies should and shouldn't do in your opinion. So when so costumes, when, if we do that, what should they do and what should they not do? Costumes. They should do costumes. Um. Okay. Yes. I what I think they should do is I want an X -Men either costumes or just straight up street clothes. Don't even deal with costumes. Like I think yeah. you can actually do either extreme. Yeah. Well, but I feel like we just, we have the, the I, I guess we kind of found the compromise. Yeah, you're right, the leather, whatever. Um, yeah, you're right, you're right, just straight up. But you just do, costumes. don't do costumes. Yeah. And like, like, do not costumes, but all the weird stuff, right? Like, mm. 
Um, I would like to see. I would like to see you hold off on Wolverine until you really have someone that can play the part. I would like to see you start with the with the original five X Men for the first movie and build from there. Yep. Right. Like that's 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 what I would do. Don't Listen don't here. rush to Wolverine. Don't rush to Gambit. Well, actually, actually, we talked about this. I I think I think Mar- Marvel right now is kind of going through like a diversity crisis with the, all of its characters and like in the next wave. Like we keep trying to like. Kind of announce things. It's like maybe we'll do a movie with all the female characters of Black Panther. X Men gives you all that. Do, do, do a Rogue Gambit movie. Do yeah. a Storm movie. Do a do a Mystique movie. Like this is running the Brotherhood of, of. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm with you. Yeah. Um, don't get so confused about your continuity after two freaking films. No. Um, it's just it's not that hard. It's not. It's not that hard. Um. Do you think they should, like, not be spun off so much out of anything? Like, do we need some kind of, like, passing the torch that thing? That is a question, isn't you it? You know, isn't it? Like, I don't... Do, does, do, we, do, we, do, we need, it's, do we need an Iron Man to our Spider-Man? Do we have to do that again? Or? It's weird if mutants just show up. It is. It's real weird. We've never mentioned it before. It's also weird before. if they've always been around. Yeah. You know, like, I kind of think you have to do something that makes them spring up. I kind of don't think you can do... Standard normal X Men, but right? then, but then they're not mutants; they're inhumans. Well, if you could come up with some way to make it natural, but it's just now happening, I don't really understand how you do that. But every, every once in a while, the evolution it just brings makes forward. a leap, yeah. and that leap is in 2019. You know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Nicholas Sergey uh, asks uh, several questions, and I like a lot of them, so we're going to answer them real fast, rapid fire. Rapid fire. You ready? Uh, one is putting a new actor. Uh, as Spock and Discovery just a cash grab? Yes, absolutely it is. And that is a mandate from... I don't know if you watched that video yet. I, I, that did, is I, a, did, I, did, I did watch that one. Isn't it excellent? It's excellent. It is um, he does a good job. But anyway... That, and that's the same channel that, that did the interview with Nicholas Meyer. Oh, I need to go watch yeah, that yeah. then. But anyway, uh, but yeah, that... So, so uh, as, as you, as you uh, heard him say, that is uh, CBS mandating that. Because originally are, the rule was that they weren't going to have Spock. They weren't going to have Spock. They weren't going to have the They were never going to see Spock. Uh, they said maybe like when we got closer to the cage, like nine or ten years, mm-hmm. if we did that many seasons, we, 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 we might get a like mention of the Enterprise, but we were never going to actually go there. Mm-hmm. And of course, we immediately do Pike. Uh, but like like Pike and Spock were both like mandates from on high. Like we have to do this to make it look more like Star Trek to get people because we changed the ending of the of the season. Yeah, and originally it was supposed to be Mirror Shin, Shinzo joining the is it Section Thirty One. They were going to do that whole thing. Yes, and I, uh, which is what a lot of people suspected that that show was going to turn out to be. It was like this is where Section Thirty One comes from. I, I saw that on Facebook. Yeah, which is silly because Section 31 was part of the original charter, and we know, and Section 31's in Enterprise. Like, we've had it for 100 years. It doesn't make any sense that that, 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 that would be setting up Section 31. We, it's already there. It's part of the original Federation I mean, charter. Watch Enterprise. But the Enterprise <laughs> continues to remain one of the only things that they seem to actually be connected to. That's true. To That's all. true. It's, much it's much like Abrams. Much it like Abrams. It still feels like that. But yeah, no, um, but, but what you got to understand is that that's canon before Enterprise. Like that's okay. a thing Enterprise gets right is oh. is, is we're told in the space that's line, right? yeah. that Section Thirty One was part of the original Federation Charter, and the reason they've managed to continue sticking around, working autonomously, and nobody has any idea what they're doing, and they're they're uh, they're, they're working uh, like really morally ambiguous and stuff, is because it's it's part of the Charter. It's like it, it, it's like having you know something in the Constitution. Like nobody can touch them because it's because it's always been there. Like maybe it's an out it's an, it's an outmoded thing and we shouldn't have it and it's a bad idea but like you're, you're, it's there like it's like it's always been part of the charter. Okay. Um. So yeah, if anybody has been saying that, they just weren't paying attention because that's okay. That's I saw, I saw on Facebook. It's still supposed to be prime somehow. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't understand. Uh, Captain Marvel has a lack of buzz. Yeah, that's that's kind of true. I would agree with that. That's kind of true. Not hearing a whole lot of people super excited about that, um, but we'll see if after another trailer that starts to change. Um, this is the guy who said that it was a mistake to release Aladdin and Lion King both in the same year. He's right about that. Uh, Crimes of Grimwald exposed J.K. Rowling as a bad screenwriter. Nope, the last one did that. Yep, uh, no, that movie was terrible. Sorry, I really disliked it. I know some people like it. I think it's terrible. Uh, so I think that already happened, and people are just now getting the memo. Um, a lot of people really are not liking this one. I'm hearing that. Um, yeah, so. Uh, five, is Bumblebee a soft reboot? We gotta see it before we know that. For Some sure. of these are questions. 
Yeah, but things that are interesting to yeah, mention. Yeah. Uh, and six uh, new con series is called SETI Alpha Five. Yeah, if that actually happens. Yeah, uh, uh, there's an interview I, I saw with Nick, Nicholas Mayer that was posted like a week ago, and uh, I guess two weeks ago probably from when this drops. Um, but he said he it's a three hour it's a three hour miniseries, one hour a night. Uh, all the scripts are written, but. It's, it might be too expensive. I'm not sure if they're going to actually make it. Man, it's like the only thing they're talking about that I'm actually really excited about. Because uh, Meyer actually wrote it, and it's the only thing I would ever want to see doing, you know, going back to con with. Mm -hmm. Like, actually being on that planet. Anyway, um, let's talk about, as much as I kind of don't want to, the Bill Maher thing. People were asking us to bring that up. Yeah. And we wanted to talk about that. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Patron uh, and other people have asked us to talk about this. Um, why don't you briefly remind us what Mar said in a blog about Stanley's death? Yeah, so Mar, Mar basically came out and said that uh, Stanley's unimportant because he wrote things for children, and when Mar was a kid, everyone grew up and started reading real books. Um, and so it's not really sad that this guy died, and really, and uh, they're, they're wasn't just factor. They're just uh, uh, they're just there to create movies. And at he, this point. Yeah, and and the way he says he says Stanley wasn't an inspiration. He only inspired people to watch movies. Yeah. Um, so my immediate reaction is not to uh, like I don't I want to immediately jump to like well you all know like he's an old man he's not reading comic books books he was he was he was like fifty when Dark Knight Returns came out right like he wasn't there for Watchmen and all that whatever. Um, he I, was I, like 50, he was like 40. I will jump to that, but go right ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, even if what he says is true, e even if what he says is 100% absolutely true, doesn't it matter at all that this man was part of so many people's childhoods? Like, if, if Dr. Seuss died, he, I, I, he wouldn't be jumping out and be like, oh, man, like, like this guy died and everyone acts like it's a big deal. He, 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 wrote, he wrote some children's books that got turned into some cartoons. Yeah, he doesn't like that what he sees as childish things people are taking seriously and looking at as, a, as adult entertainment now. And and he obviously hasn't touched a comic book in 50 years. Yeah, and what, well, and, and he he has since claimed that he's never looked at one, but I think his original blog said when he was a kid he did, so I don't really understand that. But did I read that wrong? I, I, Did, didn't he say that? I thought so. Um, but anyway, so uh, yeah, this, this is a guy that I, I don't always agree with on stuff, but like, like I like I like some of his work, and I've looked up to to certain to, to a certain degree, and it just hurts my feelings that he said it because mm -hmm. uh, he's like invalidating what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. Like he like 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 you say, he just doesn't get it, and I can sympathize that to that to some degree, but less so than I did before because he's now completely doubled down on it. Are you ready for this? Oh, I didn't hear about this. Yeah, here we go. So okay, uh, Mar, I just I just got this message a few hours ago. While I give him we a pass because he's old. That that was my thing. Was I was like, well, he doesn't know. While we were recording the omnibus, this comes out. So oh, he, so this is this is this recent. This recent. So wow. He comes out. He doubles down on it. This is from uh. No, this from a few days ago. But I just. I, but I, I just got this. I, okay. I didn't know about this. So anyway, um, so he goes on Larry King's show, and Larry King has interviewed uh, Stan Lee. Yes, he has. And is. in this, uh, he's like, "Well, I think uh, Stan Lee was was a was a neat guy and a nice guy." He's also awesome and man. Bill Maher is just obnoxious about this. He just he just won't let it go. He's obnoxious about this. He, this is this is what he says. Um, yeah, he says he's not attacking Stan Lee on a personal level, and then he says, "Yeah." I don't know very much about Stan Lee, and it certainly wasn't a swipe at Stan Lee. And then uh, King says, uh, you would have liked him, he was a nice guy. To which Mar replies, yeah, fine, I'm agnostic on Stan Lee. It's just a jerk face thing to say, I think. I, I, I just think also, that's not Also, also... Um, but, yeah, go ahead. The original blog, for those that don't know, the day after Stan Lee died. Yeah! Yeah. I, just, I don't know, that's yeah. kind of crass, whatever. Um... Then Mar doubles down on his attack on comic books and notes that all the people who were upset at him were making my point for me. How? He says, I don't read comic books. I didn't even read them when I was a child. Again, I don't. I think he said the opposite of that before. Um, Mar told King, what I was saying is a culture that thinks that comic books and comic book movies are profound meditations on the human condition is dumb effing culture, and for people to get mad at that just proves my point. I think he's being childish. Okay, so here's the thing. He's talking about two different things. Yes, he is. It's... 
people weren't angry because he's, he's I mean, I guess some people were, but like, they were angry because he was, he was, he was talking crap about a man who had literally just died. Yeah. I don't, that's ridiculous. It is. That's, that's ridiculous. But he's also talking about stuff he doesn't know anything about. Yep. Where he's like, okay, so basically what he, because you know he's, he not only has he not read the comics, but you know he's not watching these movies, so how does he know? Yep. So he's just, he's making these, like, giant broad assumptions, which I think is pretty hypocritical of him considering the things that I've heard him say in the past, where, mm-hmm. like, he seems to be kind of against people making just big assumptions about things they don't know anything about, but that's exactly what he's doing. And if you don't look at the, like, like you're saying, well, if it's a if it's a person wearing a costume, then there's no way it can, like, say anything profound about it. Like, I think, and I, I include myself in this, sometimes... Maybe often people uh, take things too far, and they and, and, and they almost do the opposite thing. Ever since Dark Knight, every superhero movie must be like, 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 like super profound and mm. and, and like and like life changing and super philosophical and whatever. We can we can overread these things. We can act like they're most more sophisticated than they really are. And I'm sure I have done this to some degree. But um, it's ignorant to say that because it came from a comic book or it's a person wearing a costume that it doesn't have anything to say. I just find that very ignorant. I mean, uh, people also, also I, I also saw online people saying, uh, yeah, he, didn't have any pro- he didn't have any problem cashing the check from being an Iron Man 3. Yeah, that's a great point. He's in one of them. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Yeah. But I just think those statements make it worse, man. I agree. No, no, it does. It makes it way worse. Yep. Uh, guys, that's uh, all the time we have for you. Uh, I know we didn't get to a ton of questions, but uh, we will do some more next time. Uh, we got a lot this time. And you don't want to know how late it is. Two fives are it's, involved. It's late. It's pretty late. Anyway, uh, but we will answer more questions next time. And, of course, Captain Logan Show every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. So uh, pop in there if you want to talk to me more about some stuff. And uh, and uh, send us more questions if you have more things for Eric. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we had a great time. Hope you did too. And we will see you again in three weeks with the uh, with this year's Christmas edition of the Evolution Omnibus. Are we sure? Are we sure that? The... Yes. Yeah, okay. No, we're absolutely positively okay. sure. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess that makes sense with the weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It's not going to be after Christmas. No. 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 Of course. Right. Not. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure. That makes sense. What, whenever the next omnibus drops, we'll have some Christmassy things in it, even if it's right after Christmas, but I don't think it is. Uh, no, 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 it'll be before Christmas, right, right. Thanks for watching. I am Captain Logan. I'm Eric. And we'll see you next time.